Well, hello there, everybody. Dre here, and welcome to Domino Simulator 2020. Yes, we're playing a game that's all about domino placing, and I love everything about it. So yes, this is a game where you simply place dominoes and build crazy contraptions with them and watch them topple over. Now, I, I honestly think this is a great idea for a game because there's nothing more infuriating than building a domino structure and having it explode prematurely. In this game, at least you can reset it and try again. And today we're going to be doing a lot of crazy creations and uh, kind of seeing what we can get into. So this game does have Steam Workshop support. You're actually looking at one of the creations that was on the uh, Steam Workshop right now, and there's not too many people playing this game, uh, surprisingly. But yes, there is some people creating crazy contraptions in this game. Now, this is Flight of the Red Baron, and uh, yeah, we're gonna watch him hopefully fly here. So the thing I like about this game is the physics always change. So sometimes it will work, sometimes it won't. Maybe we'll get a failure here, usually when they go up. Ah! Good timing. So yes, we had an absolute failure there. Now, if we try again, it might actually work this time, or it might, it might, it might, might just break right at the start this time. Great. But yes, the physics are always changing, so it makes it kind of interesting to see if these things will be successful or not. All right, let's give the Flight of the Red Baron a second try. Well, God damn it. This is kind of putting the Red Baron name to disgrace right now. Come on, man. Ser seriously? There. Come on, you can do it. You oh my God. I'm gonna have to use so many balls here just to get this to the end. I just want to see it finish, damn it. Ah, and there we go. Well, this one has an interesting name. Oh, it explains it now. It's called Drift and, uh, and that. So, <laughs> I was wondering why it was called that. So, uh, yeah, it looks like we got cars this time. This one could be really interesting. All right, so here we go. Oh, yes, this this is, this is my kind of uh, Rube Goldberg machine here. All right, oh! It didn't drift very well now, did it? All right, come on, drifty car, you can do it. There we go, that was much better. Oh, that was perfect. Okay, <laughs> oh yes, this is my favorite one yet, and I am loving everything about this game. So, I'm just trying to get inspiration right now. I am not that creative. Clearly, whoever this is, is extremely creative, because this is fan freaking tastic And, oh God, where the hell are we going now? Oh, okay, and then we go over. <laughs> Oh, man, the immaturity of this is perfect with the creativeness of it. That was the most amazing one yet. All right, this one's called Quadrakill. Looks similar to the last one. Oh, God. Okay. That happened way too quickly. And is that is that the kill? M making bubbles? Oh, it looks like maybe we missed something here because these are still uh, upright. So we're going to reset that just to make sure... Wonder if that's just there for visual though. It might it might actually be. Oh, there's the kills. Okay, it makes sense now. We got these little guys on the top. Now that time it didn't work though. What the hell? Are are, are these supposed to be moving like that? I I don't I don't think they're supposed to be running away. What the he What the hell was that? All right, so it seems like they stopped running away now. That, that that's good. That's a weird glitch. <laughs> but there we go. That's all I wanted, and we actually got it done again. And this one's called Siege of the Domino Kingdom. I think we know what's gonna happen here, and this is fantastic. The one thing, ah, oh, that was so cool. The one thing I wish this game had was a slow motion, because it's hard to keep track, especially when so many things are going on, uh, on what exactly is going on. But yeah, it's safe to say the Domino Kingdom has been absolutely destroyed. All right, and this is the final one that I could find on the Steam Workshop. This is back over and up again. Are you serious? Look at this. <laughs> I don't know if you saw that, but it landed perfectly on top. All right, let's try that again. Oh, co co seriously? Come on, man. Domino placing is clearly going to be hard, and we just destroyed it because of the damn nerf dart. All right, this one clearly has a mind of its own. There we go. Nerf guns seem to work that time. Oh, is everything working this time? Ball's going. We're actually doing this side. Okay, and there we go. We made it to the end, yet we didn't put the ball in again. Okay, I, I've tried this one quite a few times, and the ball gets stuck there every time. So uh, that might be a user error. Regardless, that's the last one on the Steam Workshop. So yeah, we didn't really have too much to check out because the game's not too popular just yet. But let's start building our own now because that's where it's going to get interesting. So yeah, we're going to clear that. I think we could actually change the ground as well somewhere here. 
All right, so we got all these types of floors. Now, I wonder if the floors actually have texture on them. Like, for example, using um, something that's a little bumpy, like concrete. Would that be a good idea? Or temple porch. That would be an awful idea. You know what? I actually don't hate the hardwood. And uh, I guess let's get building here. Now, I don't really know what I'm doing just yet. But we're just going to kind of get into it and go from there. So I'm going to start way over here and we're going to make our way down. Basically, I want to build the biggest domino structure I can. All right, so I'm actually, I decided on clear. We're going to go. Now, the great thing about this is, you see, this is what makes this so enjoyable is I don't have to place every freaking domino. Uh, but I want to start with a big topple over. So we're just going to do a simple line. And then I think we're going to do a rainbow effect going down here. All right, I went back to the drawing board a bit. I still want to do a giant domino topple, but I'm trying to figure out the best way to start that. Now, I'm definitely not a domino creator, but I'm thinking if I can get this big piece to fall on this glass at the perfect area, we should... Okay, that's obviously close. Okay, let's try that. Oh, does it not knock over? Oh, they're static. Why, why didn't I think of that? All right, so I think I'm on to something now. So we got this expanding out to this, and then that perfectly topples over. Now, the reason I did this is because I want all the dominoes in this to design to topple at the same time, and I think this is the best way to do it. I don't know. I'm not a domino expert, but hopefully from here we should be good. So we're going to get back to building. I think I'm going to do a rainbow. A ra rainbow sounds like a good idea, so let's try that. Okay, we didn't do this perfectly. It looks like it's kind of closing in on itself, as you can see. Um, but, hey, that's good enough. Let me just see. Oh, it's so pretty. Let's see if this works. And we're already over a thousand dominoes. Oh, that's pleasing. I like it. Okay. So there, there, there's the first structure done. And uh, the game's said to be stable until about a thousand dominoes. So we might be going a little overkill right now. I think we got to slow down on the dominoes now. All right, I think I'm on to something, though. I think maybe if I take my time, we can cassette. Damn it! See, this is what I'm talking about, though. This is why this is great. I can reset as many times as I want. And now, please, for the love of God, let's see this work. Come on, man. Uh, kind of? Problem is, I have to get a topple at to, to, to topple at the top. So I think I'm gonna have to put this actually on the top stair, I, and I think that should hopefully fix it. All right, it's not optimal because I gotta reset it about a million times because things keep toppling over. Oh my god, seriously, it's either one or the other. Are you trolling me at this point, dude? It was working before. Why is it back and forth? Stop. Okay, now I'm getting frustrated. The whole point of this game is to not get frustrated with toppling dominoes. Oh my god, I I'm gonna lose my mind. One perfect. Okay, as you can see, it doesn't work very well. I might have to change a few things, but if we do this, oh yes, and then I don't know where we're gonna go from here, but God damn it, that works. All right, so I'm gonna try and fix this. Hopefully that should be fixed. This is the issue over here, as you can see. This is not. Damn it. See, the, I move one thing. One thing and everything is ruined. Okay, let's see if this works. So, um, yeah, so far so good. This has been going quite well. Now I'm trying to get kind of out of this area. So I'm thinking if we do something like that, um, will this big ball work up here? I think that's going to be too big. So let's do this little guy. I think we're supposed to put that right there like that. Now, the cassettes are still my big issue right now, but it has been at least working sometimes. There we go. And perfect, down, what? Why, did that get hit by the glass? Oh, you bastard. Okay, so that's that's fine. We can move the glass over a little bit. I thought it'd be tall enough. A Little bit of a challenge, but um, no big deal at all. So I'm hoping that big board will fall on this glass, basically, is uh, the whole goal here. So let's try that again. Oh, okay, that was a little bit of a break, but um, that's what happens. And I just wanna see if this works. Will that make the whole thing? No, it won't. What? Come, what? All right, we're getting somewhere pretty cool. Um, again, my major issue is these damn stairs, so I'm just not gonna go up anymore, but uh, once it works, it's pretty much stable aside from just that. So, yeah, the Rube Goldberg machine is coming together real well, as you can see. Now, hopefully my car works, and... <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, this is amazing. And I gotta say, I'm pretty impressed. I've never tried to build a Rube Goldberg machine, but it's going quite well. I don't know where I'm gonna go from here, but it's exciting. 
All right, so bad news. I haven't figured out how to rotate the um, turrets. I really wanted to end this off with, um, you know, some cannon fodder, but uh, I don't think we're going to get that lucky, and I think we have too many here, so I think I'm just going to stop with that. Uh, so what I'm going to do instead is um, use the balls, and, I mean, it still should work w well. But I think I'm pretty happy with this. It's getting pretty good. Um, we got a lot going on, as you can see. Let's test this thing out once again. And, God, I hope that cassette doesn't break it once again. Ah, uh, it's always the cassette, man. And I pr probably, if I play around with it for a while, I would fix it, but, um, it, it, it works. That's the important part. All right, so there we go. Everything is connected. This has all been working perfectly every try. Even the car is pretty stable at getting where it needs to go. Look at that. Perfect hit. Bam! Knocked over the people. Now, oh, crap, I forgot to put... Well, that's nice to know that it worked perfectly, but I forgot to put the ammo there. We should probably do that. All right, so here we go. The moment of truth. Will it work all the way? First try. Oh, it's looking good. It's looking <laughs> real good. This is so fun. There's, there's something so relaxing about making Rube Goldberg machines, but it's working remarkably well. Ooh, that was not a good hit, unfortunately, but we should connect back. And <laughs> there we go. <laughs> okay, I think that's enough for me. Uh, I should probably explain what er how I did everything. So obviously we have the start here that goes to a bigger block. Uh, that knocks down this block, which knocks down these two blocks. Uh, ma making the majority of the blocks in this whole area done. By the way, we got 1693 pieces, so not bad. The cassettes, I would definitely change those if I was to play around with this a little bit more. But that knocks down this. I got this little structure up here that seems to be working very well now. Um, that shoots the ball into this. Ball uses its momentum to get a hole in one, which knocks this over, knocks these two pieces down, which knocks this ball into this area, which knocks this ball down this. This lifts this lever, which lifts this piece of wood, which makes this ball fall down, hits the car, car drifts into this area, usually hitting almost perfectly at the center. We got this thing here just for a simple design. That wraps back around, connects back in, and then obviously into the ball cannon fodder, which makes it to this final castle. I gotta say, I kind of want to add more to this, but uh, I've been doing this for almost two hours now. So, uh, yeah, if you guys like this, I would definitely like to see some more Steam Workshop levels. Obviously, the game's not the most popular right now. Um, so, yeah, if you guys are liking this, we'll definitely check it out again once the game gets a little bit more popular. And we can continue building on to this because we have lots more space. This is looking to be a perfect shot now. Ah, oh, and that's the way to end it with a perfect ending. So yeah, we're going to wrap up this one here, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Domino Simulator 2020. I gotta say, it's a good game. I'd, I'd like to see some more options here, but it does have quite a few options for the start. But uh, it, it obviously would be fun to have some bigger things like bowling balls and whatnot. Uh, but yeah, hopefully they add those in the near future. So if you want to know anything more about this game, I'll have a link in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.